Hello everybody, welcome to my video today. We are jumping right back in this Saturday with an organizational video from my office. And I just wanna show you guys, this is like everything's not cleaned up and picked up. <laughs> I'm like working. And so I just wanted to show you guys kind of how it is sometimes daily. Um, I'm doing some card kits and I'm getting ready to film some stuff. And I have a Christmas gift I still have to ship. And it's what, the middle of January? That's okay. Let's not look at that. So today I want to show you this little area in my office. This area happened by accident, by complete accident. Originally when I was designing the rearrange of the furniture, and you guys can go back and see, um, I talk about my Stampin' Up! storage and where I keep my um, stamps. And then I will be doing a video on these cubes here. So originally when I was designing this, I had originally had this shelf here. This is a Billy bookcase. Originally, I had it down here. And I was going to put two tall Billy bookcases in this area here. And sometimes what happens when you're designing a craft room or an area, things kind of evolve or you realize they work a different way once you're living in the space. And that's sort of what happened with um, this area here. So I knew that I wanted this long wall of cubes. I always knew that. Um, originally, I wanted this to look more built in around the window. So I had had a couple of these cubes that I was going to stack here. It just ended up not really working once we put things in here. And originally, my husband was going to rebuild the shelf because this is a shelf that he built for me. And we were going to make it look more like built in around the window. So what happened is Ikea was closed down, basically. We were doing this in April of 2020, and so obviously the whole world was shut down and we couldn't get things from Ikea. So I stuck this here, and we just left everything. And then a couple months later, I was realizing I didn't really need another long bookcase, like a tall Billy bookcase like this. So I got a Billy bookcase that was half the size. And then also I have these things here that you can get. They're containers. I've had them for many years and I have a variety of things in here. There's like three of these that are um, Christmas paper and then there is a container for like Andrew stuff and then for Kayla stuff and I've just used them over the years for lots of different things like that and um, I really did not have a place for these when I was redesigning the room. I actually thought they might go under my desk and again as we were just kind of putting things in like against the wall and stacking things I realized that these would fit perfectly right here by the door. So that was a total um, exciting find when I stuck those right there. And I was like, wait a minute, these fit perfect here. So then I had these white shelves. And so I just had my husband put those shelves up and they fit my six by eight albums really well. And then um, I got this later, a few months later, I decided I just needed a half one. So let me, that's kind of the story of how this corner happened. So let me show you, let me um, explain what everything is. So in these black boxes right here are all of my core kits, uh, my Project Life core kits. These boxes here, um, you used to be able to get at Ikea. Now I will link the box that is like this box now, but the thing is, is that they don't come with dividers. And when I open this box up, you're gonna see why the divider is so important for this organization piece. But these boxes fit perfectly on the Billy bookcase. They're from Ikea. They're really inexpensive. They're the same box that are, they're the same, um, these are larger and they fit on the Calyx unit, but they're the same like brand of box or whatever. These are just thinner. So it starts at the bottom and you can see it's labeled. And then these are all Project Life core kits. So I will insert some footage right here of how that looks 
inside. Okay, let's take a look at how I store my core kits. Now, for a long time, I felt really bad that I hoarded these core, core kits and I had several of them. Now I don't because Becky Higgins doesn't make these anymore. So when I find them or um, I purchase them, I recently, maybe about a year or so ago, found a ton of Project Life core kits at Tuesday morning for less than, like it was like six bucks, I believe is what they were. Um, and core kits were originally $29. So I bought a ton of them and this is how I organize them. And this one, I have the Clementine kit and the Jade kit. The Clementine core kit is my, well, anything with Clementine is my favorite. I love the core kit. I love the designer paper that they had with this. I love the dividers and you just, you cannot get any of it anymore. I mean, I would be shocked if I ever saw anything Clementine related. Um, ever. So I have that. And then you can see that there are some cards that are, um, oh, there's probably a different set in here too. This must be the, this is another set. I don't even know which set this is. Um, cause it's in a package, but then back here is all Jade. There are two full things. So the great thing about these boxes when I got them is they had a divider and they fit three by four, four by six and three by four perfectly. So what I did is I put the three by fours on the sides and then the four by six in here. And you can get actually um, more than three kits in here, depending on what you have. So like the Jade kit, I have um, a lot of, because again, I found it at Tuesday morning. And so I purchased it. So all of this is Jade. Um, but like I said, you can also get... Um, several in there. And I think in one of mine, yeah, like see, this is SU kits that we used to have. So I have all of these kits in this box. Um, same thing with up here. They're all like I have Click, I have Kathy Z's kit, uh, Project 12, Transparency, Solids, Grid Cards. So you can see you can get several in here. And that one I have Aqua, Honey, um, Aqua, Happy, honey and adventure. Um, so these are really, really great and I love them. You can get the box, but they don't come with dividers, but you could easily make dividers if you really wanted. So that is how I store my core kits. So the next right here is a pile of stuff that belongs in my kids' scrapbook albums that I have not done and I haven't kept up on. I've kept up on doing the pictures and stuff, but I haven't like done their albums in a couple years and so that's like report cards and different pieces of things that go in their album and then this the next few shelves um have some other supplies on them that I'm gonna get in closer and show you um what is there then on this shelf here this is some office supplies and some extra boxes eventually I will have let me swing you back around here real slowly these containers from Ikea, which again, I will link um, in my blog post. Um, these actually fit perfect. We're going to go slow back over here. These fit perfect on here, but I rearranged a few things because I changed around um, where some things are placed. And so um, I just stuck kind of this stuff here. Eventually, I'm going to get those white boxes to replace this so it looks nicer. Um, right now, it's just that's what's there. And there's office supplies in here and printer ink and that kind of thing. And then up here are some stamps and some um, other items that I'll show you. So basically this here, all of these, all of these items here are basically for my project life um, memory keeping supplies. And then on these shelves, you see my six by eight albums. These are all Christmas, December daily albums. And then these are week in the life albums. And then these are four by four albums that have my um, 30 days of thankful in them. And that will fill out eventually and I will run out of space to put my six by eight albums. But for right now, it is perfect. And what might end up happening is I might get different shelves, move them down a little bit and make them so that they kind of go all the way up so that it fits better. That just the shelves kind of were an accident. I had my husband stick them up there and they work. 
well. So let's go in and take a look at what is on these shelves. Here is the clear bin. I love these. I have this in both the large size and then I have them in the small size. And two of the small ones work perfect on the Billy bookcase side by side. They're the only containers that I have found that fit perfectly two of them side by side and they're pushed all the way back so they actually don't waste space what I was finding with the Billy bookcase is um, it was hard to find containers that would fit side by side and then also a lot of them were too small so they were like I was losing a lot of space so these you can see work really well um, I really like these but I can't fit two of these side by side because of the lip I will link these and these and the larger size um, on my blog post. So in here, I just have traveler's notebook stuff. So I have a couple empty traveler's notebooks, some paper, one of my traveler's notebooks that I'm working on. I did a 30 days of thankful album in a traveler's notebook size. And when I was working on this in November, I just had all of the pieces in here and it worked really well. And again, this fits perfectly in here. I can still grab it because it has this dip. These are the best containers ever. They're so sturdy. I get them on Amazon and they're really inexpensive. The next shelf up, I have all of my Ali Edwards stamps. So these actually came from Oriental Trading Company like years ago, like 15 years ago. I wish I would have got more of these. At the time, I only got three of them. They snap together and they have lids. And in here, I just have my Ali Edwards stamps from the story kits. So if you subscribe to Ali Edwards monthly, then each month there is a themed kit that comes out. Like this one was together. This one was um, brave. This might not have been together. No, this was bond. And I have them just alphabet uh, in alphabetical or or, or blah, 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 blah. let's start over in alphabetical order. <laughs> and I have two boxes of them. I have the clear bags that I keep them in. Um, I have a bunch of those up front, and then you can just see they just go in order, in alphabetical order. In the very front here, I have some other, some different Allie Edwards ones. They are like Week in the Life, or like this is from her Up and Down collection. So there's um, some like day to day uh, stamps, like, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of thing. Um, I organize those up front. So these, I have not used a lot of her stamps. I haven't used them a ton. I use them, but not a ton. But these, I think I'm going to start using in Bible journaling. I think that's a great way to utilize these kinds of stamps. And then also I use them in my memory keeping. Um, I just haven't got a chance to use them like I would like to. So then up here in this one, I'm going to take it out so I can show you. This is my um, Stories by the Month by Allie Edwards. So in the front here, I just have some random, um, these tiny stamps that I use. Um, I have like a Cal Kathy Zilski, like a fitness one, um, a Allie Edwards, like week in the life or day in the life kind of thing. And then I also get Allie Edwards um, monthly stories by the month and you get a monthly stamp in it. And so I just have them organized by month. So these are all my January ones. I have two of those. And then the, these are February and like I've been subscribed for like three years now. So I have like three February ones and then just so on. So it just goes by month. Oh, here's actually my new January one. I just need to put it in a in a plastic sleeve and then so that's how those are organized and here I have some random stamps so this is my favorite ever um this is by honeybee it's a camera one um this is um like a day of the week these are some letter uh, most of these are letters if you look back here lawn fawn letter stamps and then I have a couple lawn fawn other ones back here and then there's some Stampin' Up! back when we did Project Life with Becky Higgins um, and some other ones that are just kind of random that I don't have of anything else, letters like that one of the United States, that kind of thing. So that is what's on there. And then again, these are just all um, Project Life core kits. And then at the very top, I have my Tiffany box 
um, that my glasses from Stampin' Up! came in and it just happens to match my room perfectly. And so I just have it up there um, hanging out. Again, this is just office supplies that will change. I have a little bin here that has some random memory keeping stuff, a couple stamp sets. This is for my um, Through the Lens album, and it has like the journey stamp set and transition, and then just some things that I think are perfect for that album. These two black containers here have close to my heart stamps in them. So I'm going to do a little disclaimer and just say for personal reasons, I will never buy another close to my heart product ever again. Um, however, I already had these when this situation came up. And so, um, I don't want to get rid of these because I feel like it's wasteful. I already purchased these. I use them a lot for project life. I have some alpha stamps, um, uh, camera stamps. I have had a couple customers send me, they found camera stamps and have sent them to me. I have a lot of the letter stamps. I think that I will use a lot of these in my Bible journaling. Um, but again, I just want to put a disclaimer out there that in recent days, some really personal things have happened and, um, I do not support close to my heart anymore. I don't support them as a company. I will never buy another one of their products. I've unsubscribed from all of their emails and I don't watch anybody that's talking about close to my heart. So um, it's like I feel bad showing that I have these. That's why I'm like putting a little disclaimer in here. But I just feel like it would be so wasteful to just get rid of them um, when I already have them. And I would just, I couldn't stand to just throw them away in the trash or anything. So that's my little disclaimer. And then in this... Um, container here. I have like puffy stickers and chipboard. Um, these are like all different varieties of like stickers and chipboard type things. These are mostly from Allie Edwards kits. And I just, this is how I organize kind of all the miscellaneous stuff. And then I just kind of dig through this when I'm looking for something particular. I have some um, transparency pieces. And these are like the promotional cards that come in the kit and, um, different things. So I just keep that in there. And then on the top here, um, I have my Canon selfie printer. I have printer paper here, and this is like all like selfie printer stuff. And then I have in here a couple things. This is the up and down kit from Allie Edwards, all the pieces. And then this is another digital kit that I purchased. And then I um, cut up all the pieces, and then I just store them right here. That kind of stuff is probably stuff that will be stored down here once I get... Um, more containers from Ikea. So then in here, I mentioned these a little bit before, but like just so you can get a closer um, view of this, like this is Christmas paper and then like my one little word stuff. And then like I said, I have one of these each for the kids that have their stuff in it or layouts that I'm working on. I have past layouts. I have a container for all of my husband's military stuff. So when I put together an album for him, it's all there. Um, I would like to get a couple more just so that it was even with this. And then the reason there is a gap here is because there is a power cord right there that plugs in behind Behind the plug is behind this um, shelf, and then there's a power cord right there. So that is this area of my craft room studio. Um, it's also what you see um, sort of when I am on a Zoom from my computer. This is like the backdrop that you see. So I hope that you have enjoyed seeing this video. If you have any questions about any of the organizational items I use, make sure you check out my coordinating blog post where I will link everything and I will also have other pictures um, on my blog post of different things. I hope that you're all having a wonderful Saturday and I'll be back next week with new projects for you guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with